Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about interesting uh, effects for rendering that is stereoscopic or a 3D image or video. We insert a camera, and as you can see, we have an a stereoscopic, a stereoscopic tab here that you can turn it on. As you can see, we have two uh, mood, uh, mood here to turn it on. Let's see what is a stereoscopic effect. A stereoscopic effects is something like this. For example, in this tiger, uh, this is an illusion. This is an illusion of depth. It means you create an image with some method that I explained now. And if you wear a special glass, special glass, active or passive, or and use a special monitor, special monitor for seeing that, you can see, you can feel that it's a 3D. Okay. So you need first glass and the special monitor, <clears throat> and of course, a technique to render it, that I explained it. In a word, uh, we have some three or four techniques for rendering our 3D. First, for example, we have an object here that we have an, a stereo camera there. A stereo camera uh, is two camera that uh, they are side by side of each other that mimic the left or right eye of us <clears throat> and with some technique with some rotation uh, or something we have some different methods for rendering first method for uh, rendering uh, stereoscopic or 3d images is anaglyph the anaglyph is the old things old method for creating 3d <clears throat> it's filter blue and uh, red color to our left or right uh, eyes and uh, this information comes to our brain and you feel and uh, you feel this is in 3d it's illusion to depth it's illusion of depth in, on your image that you can feel it's 3d <clears throat> so the first method is on ugly when you uh, you see image in the internet or anywhere something like this it's 3d so if you, as you can see, it's a 3D and you can see like this. For, if you want to see it's real 3D in your eye, you have to wear uh, uh, glasses like this. So another <clears throat> method is interlace. The interlace divided the image with two channels, with two different image that uh, left eye, for example, occupied or create a um, even line or the left eye create the odd line and you can see yeah image like this if you see image like this uh, th these are create with a interlace uh, method and you need to a special glass and a monitor for seeing them another and the most usage of the most thing that every film make with that is side by side uh, the side by side creating a left and right or different channel for one object and a little bit offset as you can see they have a little offset for left and uh, right eye and if you wear a special glass for seeing them i think uh, these glasses then you can feel it is 3d so these are and the shutter uh, method that is very needs expensive screen and glasses to see that. And as you can see, we if you create your camera, if you want to active stereoscopic, it means you have to active two camera. There's something that we need here. First. We have to active from mono to symmetrical. It means, okay, open the left and right eye. And here is the eye separation. This number is uh, in uh, adult or usual people, the distance between our two eye. For the kids or child, you can decrease it or uh, adult people, you can increase it. And the placement of the two camera, if you want to render it, and as you can see, uh, we have one camera to see that, to see that it's two camera. As you can see, you cannot see in here. To see it in a viewport, first you have to go to option and active stereoscopic. And now we can see anaglyph method. 
an ugly method for uh, creating. That it's the default. Uh, the first, another thing that you have to go to the view in a configure. We have an stereoscopic tab here that you can disable or enable it. And as you can see now, we can see two camera with the filter color, two filter color here in a viewport. If you want to use your user, uh, uh, user <clears throat> render setting for stereoscopic, another important thing that you have to activate for rendering that you have to activate stereoscopic from the sitting here. And here the mode, the mode that you want to export or render on a glyph side by side and inter, you have to choose your main mode here in a sitting. This is just for viewing in viewport, okay? This is just this settings view is for viewport. Here you can change the mode, interlace, as you can see, they are aligned, uh, shutter side by side. This is just for viewing in viewport. So we use Anagly for our viewport and doesn't change, don't change all of the settings there. So we come back to our the camera and this is a mode for turn it on or off actually, or light or ref image. Symmetry call is mean to image. And now we can decide that the placement of your our camera that uh, actually power off our 3D. Parallel mode off or on or radial. Look at this image, you can better understand it. The best way for creating our 3D image is off axis. It means if you have two cameras for a left and right eye, the parallel mode is means this. They are not focused on the object. The off axis, we have two a camera but the focus on the image uh, the uh, object on axis is looks like this and the radial is, is the better uh, thing is off axis and the default in cinema 4d it is an off axis <clears throat> and you can show all camera zero parallel auto plane and everything is here it's for focusing our it's actually a focal it still looks like the focal distance in a mm, blurring or depth of field. For example, we have, as you can see, we have a, a, a different text here uh, that we want to focus. For example, this is a zero parallax or a plane. Uh, this it's it's defining if you change it, the number of there, it's defining where this 3D or stereoscopic effect happen at the far from your camera, near your camera, or something middle. So you can define it in the sitting or the parallel menu. And finally, if you, you can render it, and as you can see, this is our uh, stereoscopic image and you can wear glass and see it. So uh, let's talk about the, um, the settings. How we can save it? You can save it as a folder, merge stereoscopic. It means if you have two channels, two different images, uh, save it on a folder. You can change in important thing the moods here you can swap the left and right like this uh, in a mode in a viewport you can swap the left and right it's changing the colors actually merge a stereoscopic image it gives you one image that a merge that you can see it if you want to compose it in your after effect nuke or other uh, 3d 2d program you can set it individual channel and as you can see you can to you can select the channel what is channel channel is this the channel means if you have two channel means left and right eye but if you have want to more quality like this you can add five channel and then you have to merge it in your uh, after effect program individual channel or merge the scoping image or individual channel or single channel that you want that default is merge merges the scoping image it's automatically merges and uh, the channel is turning off or you can see the non stereoscopic image also if you want. You can save it. And you can change. The most important thing here is the mode and how to want to save it and change the output and save it. That's it. And then you have your 3D image or video and then you can wear a glass and see your 3D. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release